Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Guys, today's video is in collaboration with Nee Fly On Wigs and I'll be installing this beautiful highlight color bob for y'all. All the information for this wig will be in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's get into the video. Especially when she reckless. Remember you're my best best friend. Yeah, she's my bestie. My love for you is endless. Nobody else can end it. And when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it. Oh. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of you. For today's install, I'm going to use my Bold Hold, my Active Skin Protectant. I'm going to use that to clean the skin because this just allows my wig to really sit and stay longer. I'm using the Ebb and Wonder Lace Bond. And for this install, I'm only using two layers of this spray. And when I do my installs, I do it in three sections. So it's easier for me. If you're a beginner, definitely do your hair in sections versus trying to put the entire wig on in one go. So I do one layer and then I will blow dry that section on cool. And after it feels tacky, I will add another layer. And then when that gets tacky, I will put the hair into the lace and then I will blow dry again on cool. I'm doing the same thing on either side until the entire wig is on my head. And for this lace guys, the color of the lace was not matching my skin. So I did go in with an ebon lace tint just to match it a little bit better. I'm going in now with my scissors to cut the extra lace off and I did tweeze the hair. I plucked quite a bit but after um, installing it I'm going to go in again and pluck some more. I definitely think this unit needs plucking. Well for my liking I like my hair looking more on the natural side. So after cutting off all the excess lace i will tie my hair with my elastic band and usually i try to keep this on for 20 minutes it gives me a headache but it really helps the hair to melt into the lace and then guys i'm going in with a wax stick then i'm going in with my hot comb and i'm just using that to lay the hair and I already parted out the hair for my baby hairs. I felt like I wanted to do baby hairs. I didn't know where I was going with this at first but it ended up being cute so I left out um, a good amount of hair and I'm just using the hot comb to just like flatten that out and then I went back in with my tweezers to pluck the hair because I did leave out a good amount of hair and I wanted it to look like you know natural so I'm going in with a razor comb and I'm cutting off the extra hair and then I'm going to get my little flat irons and I will curl the hair just so the edges will be easier to like shape After curling the hairs this way, I'm going to go in and do my edges and I did use mousse to do my edges and I also used a little bit of the edge, um, the ebon spray that I used to lay my wig but that's what it's looking like and I really liked how it turned out and I'm going in again with the wax stick just to get the hot comb to have the hair really flat and laid and just looking more natural and for me even if it's curly here I do go in between where my part is just so I can get the hair to lay so I will go in between each section with a hot comb 
and have everything just laying really nicely. And to style the hair, I'm using this lot of body mousse and I'm going in and I'm massaging that into the hair just so I can detangle the hair. And then I'm going in with a brush. If you have a denim brush, that would be great. But I'm going to go in with a detangling brush and I'm going to keep going through the curls until I get them to like clump up together. If you have a diffuser, that would be even better. It'll have the hair looking really curly, but I didn't have a diffuser, so I just went through. And then I kind of wrap the ends on my fingers just so it will be more defined. And I did this for the entire hair. With my concealer on the part just to give the hair a more finished look and then I went in with some bronze around the hairline because I didn't apply any makeup just so it would blend in more but this is the finished look guys and I'm loving it let me know down below how y'all feel about it I love the edges I feel like the edges stole the show I did not expect my edges to come out that nice the edges were really really nice and at the end of the video the hair isn't a hundred percent dry you know once it's dry it'll get a little bigger but I'm loving it and one part is a little bit drier than the other part but that's okay it looks really good I love how this turned out and this was with minimal effort I didn't bleach the knots I didn't do anything this is how the hair is after taking it straight out of the packaging let me know how y'all feel about this guys please remember to like comment share and most importantly subscribe all the links for this hair is in the description box below. I love you guys and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.